It's a sports betting spotlight at the Win Las Vegas Sportsbook with handicapper Kelly Stewart, sportsbook director Johnny Avello. Breaking down the Tennessee Titans. They went 9-7 last year for the second straight year and beat the Chiefs in the comeback game in the playoffs. The win total is 8 this season. Mike Vrabel taking over from Mike Malarkey. What do you think, Kelly, about that change in the Titans? I think it's going to be really good for the Titans offense. I will say that. But here is my biggest problem with the Titans team. Marcus Mariota. Marcus! It's really hard to back and be positive about a quarterback that throws more interceptions than touchdown passes. So, I'm going to say that. But these guys do have a favorable road schedule. Actually, I found a fun stat. They don't have to... travel farther west than Dallas this season, uh, obviously with the exception of playing the Chargers in London. Um, they do have a lot of promise on paper, and I do think Mike Vrabel is going to be really helpful for this offense. I'm going to try not to overthink this one, though, and think that he's going to come in and change things in the first year. So I'm going to go under the season win total of eight with the Tennessee Titans. All right. Well, Mike Vrabel was with the Pats for 13 years. He's got three Super Bowls. He coached under Urban Meyer at Ohio State. He's coached under Bill O'Brien, another Belichick offspring. Um, I mean, he's, I don't know what you learn from the pet, from, you know, being with a guy like uh, Belichick. I mean, I just don't know what that means. We've seen coaches in the past that have really done well being under a master. So we'll see how it works out in his total career. Um, Mariota played pretty well in two playoff games, but it was a dismal regular season for him. You mentioned he had more uh, interceptions than TDs. I'm not crazy about the Russian game either. Derrick Henry, you don't get great production out of him. They pick up Deion Lewis. Pat players don't always work out for another team. It's the system, I've always said that. Um, Matt, Matt LaFleur, he's the offensive coordinator he, from the Rams. He's on the, is there now. On defense, Malcolm Butler, he's getting 12 million. Another Patriot guy. <laughs> <laughs> who did not play in the Super Bowl. You what a, fa- dumped him a year earlier. What a fiasco <laughs> that was. And they'll try to get a couple of players that were pretty good in the college ranks at linebacker, Rashad Evans at Alabama, uh, defensive end Harold Landry at a BC. So I think they'll get a little help there. This is a tough one because I think eight's right on the number. So I'm kind of tending to go m- more towards the over than I am the under. So I'll say over and probably get a push. Yeah. I kind of agree with just about everything you said there, Johnny, and you too, Kelly, about Marcus Mariota. I never heard of the junior jinx, but that's kind of what he had last year. 45 TDs and 19 picks in his first two years, 13 TDs, 15 picks last year, third most behind uh, Kaiser and Cam Newton. Corey Davis was hurt last year, and, and Mariota had a hammy, but they still went 9-7 and seven for the second straight year into the playoffs. They like Vrabel coming in. They get Corey Davis back, a receiver, and I like the addition of Deion Lewis, very shifty. Remains to be seen how much Butler will help the defense. But the a big key as well, as you mentioned, Matt LaFleur, he coached on the Shanahan and McVay the last two years and really helped their quarterbacks and offenses. The Titans swept the Jaguars last year. They have a tough schedule at the start, but it really softens up down the stretch. And as long as Mariota stays healthy, I see them leaning, leaning to going over the total of eight as well. That's our spotlight in the Tennessee Titans.